Hello all. In this tutorial, I will show you how to measure the power supply rejection ratio or PSRR of an amplifier in cadence. So uh, PSRR, it, it's the ability of an amplifier or any other circuit in general to suppress or to block any power supply variations or noise uh, to get it to the output of the circuit. So typically it's a frequency dependent uh, or uh, in other words, there is an inverse relationship between the frequency and the PSRR. That means it gets decreased when the frequency is increased. And uh, therefore that's why we are going to do XF analysis here. So here I'm showing you the two test bands. So the first test bench here, uh, I am using because I want to see the PSRR with respect to the VDD here. So I'm using the same which I was using in the previous test cases, that is uh, the DC voltage of 1, 1 1.8 power supply. And the, because I'm going to do the XF analysis here, so I'm using 1 volt, the XF magnitude. The reason I chose it here as a uh, instance from the analog lib and not from the stimuli, I will show you later. You will you will see it later why. And uh, the other uh, test bench which you see here is I try to uh, put some noise with the LC model uh, on the, on top of the supply voltage so that I can see the impact of the noise on uh, the PSRR. Uh, also, what I did here is I I want to also see because the ground is also a power supply. I want to also see uh, the impact of the supply noise coming from the ground on my output. Okay, and uh, if you have a noise file defined, uh, you can you can you, you can define the path of that noise file here to see more realistic you know PSR behavior of your amplifier. So now let's go to the ADL launch because I already defined the instance here. I don't need to define the stimuli here. So I will simply go to the um, XF analysis here, I choose it and then I will see the frequency as I said, it's a frequency dependent also. And then here also another thing is I need to define the positive node here. So it's the output usually. So I go select here. So for let's do for this one first. So it's the V out and then there is another the negative output node, which is always ground. So I select it here as ground and uh, that's it. I will run it. See my log file, there is no error, it's just some warnings. And then I go, so now to plot the PSRR, what you, do, what you can do is you can directly calculate it from here, go to results, direct plot, main form. So you have here the analysis XF. So keep the function voltage gain and the modifier take a db20. You can also add it to the outputs. Uh, so that next time you don't need to go here again. So I'll just select this. So you can see here it asks me select port or voltage source and schematic. So I need to define the port whether it's VDD or ground. I need to select it. That's why I use it here like this, not in the stimuli as in the previous test cases. So I will select this VDD here. So it will plot me the PSRR of the amplifier with respect to the VDD in this case. Okay. So yes, now let's let's go to the another one which uh, I have here. Uh, the second one created here. Let's see the impact of the LC, which will try to put some resonance on top of my power supply. It gets a bit more noisy. Uh, again, they are ideal, so they are only much impact. But let's see. So this is the first thing and then we will see also with respect to the other power supply which is the ground. And uh, one more thing I would do here is I will uh, here the plotting mode, I'll keep it append. The reason being I want to see, uh, I want to compare uh, the result of this with the, the other one. Uh, okay, so what I did, I actually plotted it twice. Let me delete one of them. Okay, now uh, I go here again because I'm going to do it now for this uh, test bench. So here the output is V out one, not the V out. So I need to change it here. I go again here, the positive output node, I'll change it to one and press okay. So 
I will unselect it because this I do not want to plot. It's from the other the other test bench. So I will just simulate it now. And again, I will go to the results, that plot, the main form. And now here, yeah, I think everything is same here. I just go here. I select now this VTD here. Okay. So I select this. You can see uh, there is a small variation in the PSRR values because I use the LC here. I'll zoom it also later, but let me first select this ground also. I see the PSRR coming from the ground power uh, supply. So I just select it. So you can see here the PSRR from the ground supply is around minus, four, minus 55 dB, something like this. Okay. Now, if I want to uh, zoom it a bit, okay. Or I press V, I can see also with that. So there is a small variation, not much for the, when I use the LC on top of VDD which is the green one, the yellow one is the without the LC and the with the uh, with the LC you can see it got a bit more uh, deteriorated the PSRR performance of the OTA. So uh, yes, if you want to verify it more or less accurately, you can uh, use a noise file here, just define the path of the file where you have kept it and you can do more realistic, you can get more realistic PSRR videos. That's all. Thanks.